If you see me buying any more books, please bully me. This is absurd. <laughs> Hello everyone. I guess I was in the mood to call myself out because this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> when I first discovered BookTok slash Bookstagram last year, I kind of went full throttle. I bought pretty much all of the books that were recommended to me. So I have a lot of unread books. And my goal this year is to get through them before buying more. So in order to keep myself accountable, but also just because I thought this would be fun, I'm gonna go through my entire physical TBR with you. I'm gonna try and just do this as quick as possible because I do have a lot. For the most part, I'm just going to be saying the name and the author. Starting off with fantasy, we have my current read, which is The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. I'm about 50% of the way through that. And then I have The Traitor Queen, which is the second book in the duology. All four books in the An Ember in the Ashes series by Saba Tahir. So An Ember in the Ashes, A Reaper at the Gates, A Torch Against the Night, and A Sky Beyond the Storm. I'm not sure what the correct order to read this is in yet. So if that's out of order, please forgive me. The These Violent Delights duology. So These Violent Delights and Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. The Carval trilogy by Stephanie Garber. So Carval, Legendary, and Finale. And then I believe this one is the spinoff of the Carval trilogy, Once Upon a Broken Heart. <sighs> Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I'm terrified to read this. <laughs> Rule of Wolves and King of Scars, also in the Grishaverse. I have the entire A Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. If you saw my reading vlog for The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, you know I love V.E. Schwab now, so I'm pumped to read these. The last two books in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And then we have The Queen's Assassin duology by Melissa Dela Cruz, The Queen's Assassin and The Queen's Secret. The Ash Princess trilogy by Laura Sebastian. We have Ash Princess, Lady Smoke, and Ember Queen. The Wrath and Dawn duology by Renee Audier, The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger. The second and third book in the Serpent and Dove series. So we have Blood and Honey and Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahurin. House of Salt and Sorrow by Aaron A. Craig, which is actually a standalone fantasy. My last complete series that I've yet to finish, mainly because I'm terrified of it ending. The last four books in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. I still have a little bit of Assassin's Blade left, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and then Kingdom of Ash. Moving into fantasy series that are either incomplete or I just have not bought the rest of the books for them. And continuing with Sarah J. Mass, we have House of Sky and Breath, which is the second book in the Crescent City series. I already started this and I am doing a reading vlog for it. So if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe. The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. This is the second book in the Prison Healer series. And the third book is coming out this year. I love this series. Another series that has the final book coming out this year is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So I have The Inheritance Games and The Hawthorne Legacy. Then we have Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan, The Bone Witch by Rin Chepeko, Rhapsodic by Lauren Talassa, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, For the Wolf by Hannah Witten, The Magicians by Lev Grossman, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, The Kiss of Deception also by Mary E. Pearson, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Crown of Gilded Bones also by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the fairy loot version and I am absolutely obsessed. Are you kidding? Incredible. Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Seven Deadly Shadows by Courtney Alameda and Valen E. Maitani. The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young. Fable by Adrian Young. Enchanté by Gita Trelis. The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the first book in The Witcher series. I only got the first one because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be into it. Kingmaker and Light Singer by Audrey Gray. These are the third and fourth books in the Kingdom of Runes series. So underrated. And then finally, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Moving into the thriller category, which is easily the smallest section. I have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, and Verity by Colleen Hoover. I also began reading this one, but if you've read this book, you know it is not for the faint of heart, and I was not in the right mindset for that. I'm also thinking of doing a reading vlog for this later, so if that's something that you're interested in seeing, especially because I don't normally do thriller, so my reactions are very <laughs> strong, let me know. Moving on to YA romance, we have Of Curses and Kisses by Sanja Menon, Hot British Boyfriend by Christy Boyce, Anna Kay by Jenny Lee, Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, Last Chance Summer by Shannon Clare, and finally we have Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Katugno, which is actually the follow-up to her story, 99 Days. And finally, the last and biggest category by far, romance. Starting off again with Colleen Hoover, we have November 9th, Ugly Love, and All Your Perfects. Terrified to read all three. Lucky Leap Day and Happy Single Stay, both by Anne Marie Walker. The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. 
my book buying ban doesn't count for book lovers because I already pre-ordered it. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid and also The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The second and third book in the Twisted series by Anna Huang, we have Twisted Games and Twisted Hate. Only When It's Us by Chloe Lisi. Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. Y'all already know how much I adore my slow burn, so. Obviously, Marriage for One by Ella Mays. This next book is actually by a self-published author that I found on TikTok. So obviously we are here to support Can't We Just Pretend by E.M. Mavis. The second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher, Terms and Conditions. And then again, because I'm very easy to convince, I bought the entire Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher based off of a one-line TikTok recommendation. So we'll see how it goes. We have Throttled, Collided, Wrecked, and Redeemed. Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. In Five Years by Rebecca Surley. I really need to remove a lot of the stickers on these. That buy two get one free deal really got me. We have Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. The Shoddy Setup by Lily Vale. One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. The Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting. Makeup Breakup by Lily Menon. You Lucky Dog by Julia London. Float Plan by Trish Dollar. Undercover Cover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams, which is the second book in the Bromance Book Club series. Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey, which is Fox and Hannah's story from It Happened One Summer. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Next up, we have Lost in the Spanish Quarter by Hetty Goodrich. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if this is actually a romance. I saw it on Book Outlet and I thought the cover was amazing, so. Yeah. We have The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Love in Other Words, also by Christina Lauren. And then the last book that I have by Christina Lauren is Beautiful, which I'm pretty sure is a part of like the beautiful bastards and all of that that everybody's super into. Oh, hey, it's signed. Huh, I had no idea. I really trusted Book Talk with this one. I have the entire Addicted slash Calloway Sister series. Let's see if I can even lift this by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Yikes. So. Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower, Thrive, Addicted After All, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, and then Some Kind of Perfect. I'm either gonna be obsessed with this series and it's gonna hurt me for it to end, or I'm gonna be very disappointed in how much money I spent. <laughs> the 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss, Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins, The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Birchall, The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa, Crazy Cupid Love by Amanda Heger. I meant to leave this for Valentine's Day and I kind of forgot I owned it. Witch Please by Anna Guire. The Real Deal by Lauren Blakely. The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. The Paris Connection by Lorraine Brown. This cover is super cute. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. And then finally, Get a Life, Chloe Brown and Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. I really need to get Take a Hint, Danny Brown because I've heard amazing things and I'm really excited to read these. Not me talking about more books that I need to buy. So this is the number of physical books that I own that I have not read. I may not know the number, but I already know I'm embarrassed. If there are any books in here that are your favorites and you want to see reading vlogs for, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to do that, add it into the schedule. I'm not gonna lie though, this brings me a lot of joy. I cannot wait to buy shelves because they're gonna look if you stuck around this long and you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because both of those really help support my channel. Also, you're the real MVP. Thank you all so much for watching and I guess I should probably go read some of these now. <laughs> I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye.